The concentration of acid in pH can be determined by comparing the speed of reaction between acid solutions of different concentrations with a metal base or metal carbonate. And then plotting a suitable graph. Okay? Um, the metal base or metal carbonate should be added in excess. Okay, got it. So uh, as I highlight, all right, this thingy should be in excess. And the concentration of SCP can be determined by comparing the speed of reaction. So that is the approach. Between the speed of reaction, uh, between what? Between the acid solutions that comes in different concentration. And you react with, once again, choose one of them, metal, the base, or metal carbonate. And after that, uh, how you do so, you plot the graph. Okay, got it. That is the context of the question. It's all about the context of the question. All right, so this should be make this make sense. Higher the concentration of the acid, and I've talked about this already, I, uh, the shorter the time taken for the reaction. All right, and therefore the rate is faster. Again, we know this. So here we go. Describe a plan, how you would do this experiment. You are provide again with common apparatus available, blah, 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 and this is the one, this context. You are having four stock solutions of acids of concentration. So yeah, this, this is what? This is produced. This is made by the lab that given to you. And the acid solutions all contain the same acids as those present in P. All right, so basically the P, if you ask me. All right, straight to the point. Okay, so here we go. So plotting a sortable graph, acid react one of these things. Mm, and I wanted to show, um, okay, can how you do this. Okay, five marks, they give you a bit more in the question. Uh, your description should include a label diagram of the experimental setup the measurements you will need to take and the variables you need to keep constant. The graph you will plot using the results obtained. So normally I will draw out the graph, sketch it out. An explanation of how the concentration of the SMP can be deduced. Okay, so basically from start to end. Okay, so quite a long one. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is here. I'll run through the procedure with you first, if you don't mind. Oh, set the apparatus above. Uh, I need to draw the apparatus out. Okay, what apparatus I'm going to do uh, is about acid, right? So acid reaction. I propose this, and again, you could be Agree or disagree? Because you want to choose something else. I'm going to use a gas range. Okay, I forgot to mention. Okay, very important. Listen up, everyone. Listen up. You can write on the first page. Planning question means even it's very difficult to conduct, you assume it's conductable. Write this down. So experimental, I told you, you won't get use a gas range one. Very unlikely. Make sense? In planning, confirm use. You are a skilled chemist. Not just a student. Am I okay? Can I? You assume. So everything you learned before I can work on, in theory. Okay, very important. So yeah, gas range, who cares? I'm a master of it, right? Uh, very important, uh, the point. Uh, those that are online, write it down, uh, write it down, right? That point, very important. Uh. So you assume that everything can be done, uh, you've learned before and therefore it can be done, uh, right? So ugly, right? So, right? so this is your retort stand, whatever, right? So this stand, and then uh, I'm going to do what? I'm going to have this, Wait, so ugly. I'm going to collect the gas. Uh, what I'm going to propose is basically a simple one, all right? I'm going to use an acid. So SCP, and again, uh, you can use the, what, pull the string, whatever, I didn't, I just put like that, all right? So I'm going to use a five gram, I propose, later we'll see, calcium carbonate. They say it can be a metal carbonate. And we are playing red, right? I think. Is it red? Is it red that we're looking at? Uh, I'm going to use a stopwatch. Okay, so I write the stopwatch. I draw it up. All right, so these are my parameters. Can okay, everyone? Make sense? Okay, can I? Then I run through here. Yeah? Uh, let me stand a bit. <coughs> okay, here we go. All right. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, set up the apparatus as shown, right? Use an electronic mass balance to measure 5 grams of calcium carbonate, right? It must be precise. Remember, uh, all the quantity you use, you must tell them how you get it. So, 5 gram calcium carbonate, then use an electronic mass balance. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, planning question, they are a lot more lenient than... There's another thing, huh? Okay. Is that, uh, planning question, they are more lenient than experimental. The significant figures and whatnot, usually, they are the close one, because they are over allocation marks. But again, we want to be as precise as we can, uh. Right, but you miss out usually. You say, okay. Uh, using the measuring cylinder, measure out twenty cm cube acid solution of a certain concentration. So twenty cm cube, I think, is a good volume. As I mentioned, about twenty to fifty, not too much, not too little. Add the two reagents in the conical flask and immediately connect the gas range to the flask and start the stopwatch. So please don't go and tell me, Mister Chua, like that. Now the gas will run away. Then you do your hard call, whatever the string, whatever. Nothing wrong. All right. So we're going to change this experiment accordingly. Different schools say different things. One skip. All right. <clears throat> okay, you'll see effervescence. Effervescence, right? Boop, 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 boop. As a company, ma. Stop the stopwatch. So you start and then you stop when no more effervescence. Why? Because the reaction has stopped. Okay, makes sense. Very easy. 
Then what I'm going to do is repeat the steps using acid solutions of other concentration. Just now I use what? Just I use um, 0 0.10. So I use 0.3. Oh, it's given, right? They take 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 1 0. So you got to use. So all four done. I repeat the same experiments, the steps. And then I get the results. I will plot a graph. Plot a graph of what? Plot a graph of what? Ask yourself who is the, what is the dependent and independent variable. I.e., what is the y and x-axis? What is the x-axis? Let's run it through. Huh? The x-axis is your concentration. X. Okay, I think X or Y just now. Okay. Like, okay, okay. I always start with Y. Okay. Like that. <laughs> y axis. What should it be? Sorry? It's okay. Louder late. Those are talking. Uh. Effervescence is evolved. Effervescent. You can track effervescence is evolved. Time la. Time taken. Time taken. You check time. Oh, is it time? La? Okay. I miss out the time. Okay. La? So, uh, I'll plot time. All right. Against concentration of what of the acid right in mole per mq yeah thank you Ethan. all right so uh, it looks like this so i can draw it out then you know how you can solve it right so the graph look like this a bit low but you're okay right okay oops okay here we go uh this one uh what is it your time let's say it's in seconds all right and then the concentration of your acid p i think it's acid p right uh in terms of mole per mq all right, so you have regular intervals. Uh, you have uh, you start by 0 0.10, 0 0.20, 0 0.30, and not 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.30, 0 0.5, and 1.0. And far, far away, you got 1.0. All right, move per DMQ. Again, planning is all about theory. We know as the concentration is higher, more concentrated, the time increase or decrease? When it's more concentration, what happens to the time? For reaction to complete decrease, right? So we know how the graph looks like. Am I okay? Makes sense. So when you have the uh we are assuming you know, right? All right, the plot must be something like this. And again, uh, we'll propose a constant line. Uh, you won't know, therefore they cannot mark you wrong also, unless you tell me you know why is not a straight line. So this is what we call our calibration plot. Using standard solution, we have this plot. We are doing mathematics. It's like E math like that. Is it A math? Can't remember. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is called right this now a calibration plot. Yes. Uh, curve. You want to curve down? Is it? Uh, you can. But uh, if you understand what we're doing, right? It's like we are looking at proportionality in a way. So usually we will draw a again a straight line. It's a calibration plot. Calibration plot. And this haven't solved our P. This is using four standard concentration that's given to us. Once you have it ready, now then we run the experiment the fifth time. The green. Which have we run already? Okay, so use this graph to find the concentration of acid in P that correspond to the time taken for reaction to be completed. When 20 cmq of P is added to 5 gram of calcium carbonate. Okay, everyone. So basically, how many experiments you did? Five. Everyone, okay? So we did one here, which is standard concentration, right? So we get the calibration plot out, and therefore we run the fifth one. And for example, uh, the fifth one, they say show how you get, right? So let's say we it conduct at a certain time. So this is your that P experiment, okay? So this was your experiment number five. All right. So Dot 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 ladies and gentlemen I therefore know the concentration for example uh, concentration of P is therefore let's say a uh, 0.25 mole per dm cube okay make sense everyone yes oh, hey there is a good question can I change it uh? hmm why do I use a gas stranger?
Wait, huh? But you argue that you can see the effervescence also, ma? Make sense? Can we use a gas uh, effervescence to stop it? Anyone? I want to ask you, effervescence is accurate or not? Can you see effervescence very accurately? Gas rings using is accurate? Yes. Measure what the volume of carbon dioxide produced. And after that, and that make that your y axis uh, volume of CO2. Uh can there are, uh, let me see uh, concentration, then you can do make that your x your y axis. Who is limiting at the moment? Huh? We're just assuming. No, actually, I'm not assuming. If I do calculation, I can show. It's acid, yeah. Sorry? Yeah, the excess, right? The metal or metal oxide, metal carbonate excess. So my acid is limiting. So if my acid is limiting, the acid will control. And we are looking for acids. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, we are using it okay again uh, uh, there are many versions of this are uh, your copy this down already copy this down already, huh? okay i can tell you there are many things you can do again there are so many things sometimes yeah okay let's say using my current one right okay what i can do i can make it a bit better here okay let's go back here huh? effervescence. stop the stopwatch when no more effervescence and record down the time If I use a gas range, so I must talk about the gas range, right? Agree? So stop the stopwatch when the gas range, the plunger in the gas range doesn't move anymore. And therefore, I measure the what? I measure the time taken for that to happen. Again, I want to ask myself, is acid the limiting reactant? It is. So the amount of CO2 will come up, blah, blah, blah. It depends on the acid. And basically, I will use the calibration plot to check nothing wrong. But likewise, can we still go back to what is printed here and we don't use the gas range? Nothing wrong. Just remove the gas range off. Then you use your eyes and look at the effervescence. Uh, not easy to see though. All right, but you can. Gas range, obviously, there's graduated. You can see the mark. It's a lot better. Okay. And also, uh, so just now you mentioned something, right? So I don't know any of my questions. Okay. <laughs> anyway, some of my students also forget their names. Really. Oops. All right. Uh, can we go uh, over here? Instead of time, the question is, can we, using the gas range, change it to volume of carbon dioxide that is obtained? Ah, yeah, hey, sorry, yeah, I didn't hear you. For fixed amount of time, you have to change the experiment a bit, long. all right? Because concentration, then you have different rate. Then we are using a calibration curve of it, yeah. Okay, so again, I can change. Again, there are many versions of it. So another way, I believe we can do so by measuring all right the volume of co2 but at a certain time all right a certain period of time then it's a fair comparison higher concentration will increase the rate okay and uh so okay oh so this is a rate of reaction question that is linked to concentration of acid okay not that straightforward so this and therefore this is known as a calibration plot Right, you need to plot in order to okay. So over time is like that. Nice. So uh, if my experiment is lower or higher, then I will have a different time and whatnot or different concentration. Yeah, and we go to the next one. 